Welcome to the course overview video for the Construction Fundamentals course, Fire Protection, Startup Testing, and Closeout. When you look at a construction project, it probably seems pretty complicated. And in reality, it is. But just like any big project, if you break it down into smaller, bite-sized pieces, it becomes more manageable. That's what we'll do in this series of Construction Fundamentals courses. We will dissect the building and look at every single material and system to better understand how a building is designed and built. In this, our final Construction Fundamentals course, Fire Protection, Startup Testing, and Closeout, we will finish with the mechanical systems, specifically fire suppression and life safety. For fire suppression, we will look at wet pipe and dry pipe fire suppression systems, as well as the fixtures involved. We will also discuss how we monitor and detect fires in a building and look at the many parts and pieces involved in the fire alarm system. Next, we will talk about conveying equipment, specifically elevators. We will talk about the history of elevators in construction and look at the elevator components, construction sequence, and safety requirements. Once all of the fixtures are installed, the building enters startup and testing. We will discuss various tests that must be performed for all MEP, fire suppression, and conveyance equipment. All systems must be tested during the commissioning phase and before the building can move into the closeout phase. We will wrap up our construction fundamentals courses by talking about project closeout, including punch list, certificate of occupancy, and project turnover. In all of these construction fundamentals courses, you will learn about the sequence of construction and the relationships between all the different construction activities on site. You will be able to identify all the different parts and pieces in a commercial building. Over time, you will start developing a construction and engineering vocabulary, which will give you the credibility you need on the job site. You will become much more effective in solving problems because you will be speaking the same language as other construction industry professionals. Before you know it, you'll be able to answer the question why. Why are steel beams shaped the way that they are? Why does one building have deep foundations while another has shallow foundations? When you can precisely answer questions like these regarding every scope in the building, you will become a very valuable member of the project team. For information regarding any of our Construction Fundamentals courses or to sign up for an online course, please visit vdci.edu.